Hello everyone, this is uh, Richard again. And uh, you know, I have a lot of ideas and I'm always posting and publishing ideas on uh, on YouTube. And I don't really care if people subscribe to my channel or not. It's just like, it's just a, a copywriting type of publishing type of act that I do with my videos, you know, just to get them have some sort of protection. Publication is some sort of protection, not a lot, but it's something. And that's what I do with my videos, random as they are. It doesn't really matter, but I just wanted to just talk about this idea about a movie that I had. I know I always go up and down with positivity and negativity, but this movie I've had for maybe like about three or four years, maybe five years, and it's about, and the movie's titled, uh, One Good Day. And in this movie, there's no conflicts. There's no climax. There's no problems. There's no enemies. There's no explosions. There's no deaths. There's basically nothing happening. But the only thing that's happening in the film, the whole plot of the film, I guess if you want to call it, is just, it takes place in a kindergarten, uh, preschool type of uh, uh, building. And we follow these kids, and we follow these adults, these teachers, and the whole plot is surrounded around, around following a family, families, day-to-day -day lives, and um, it's just... Uh, basically, this, the movie is just about one good day that has no problems. No enemies, no bad guys, no deaths, no conflicts, no arguments, no um, envy, no nothing. And so the story, the movie begins with just these people driving their kids. I, I, I haven't thought about it much, about the real, the real uh, uh, visual construction and the scenes, but it's just a real positive film. And it starts off with these people driving their, their, their kids to a the preschool and, the, and these families. It's like a day where all the family members are together. And it's like uh, bring your mom to school day or dad to school day, whatever. And everybody's there. And, <clears throat> let me see. And everybody's like just playing around and uh, just playing with clay. And the cameraman is just pivoting and kind of motioning the camera getting these visuals of just doing like everyday tasks that we take for granted it becomes something big and loving in the film every moment that we do in our lives becomes magnified with positivity in the film playing with clay with your daughter or your son drinking uh mott's apple juice you know which is a thing that i used to drink when i was a kid uh um, sitting down and eating popcorn, watching uh, uh, um, these Disney old, the uh, classic ones from the 90s and 80s, uh, um, Disney movies, um, and then it kind of, uh, you know, um, and then the scenes kind of bounce around. They go back home, but the connection of the people connection, the scenes never break, and that they're constant in terms of the connection of people and the activities seem to never let down like there's never no stopping point there's no slow point in the movie it's always constantly um a constant uh flow of activity even in the car when they're driving the kids are doing something and it's just like an everyday thing you know i don't know if i'll have a vehicle in it but i'll probably just have scenes where um there'll be other places that they go but they go walking together not really not really doing anything bad just kind of walking with their kids and their babies and things like that and just one day the movie is just like i like can maybe 30 40 minutes maybe like an hour of just good things every angle every scene every lighting is focused on the positivity of the moment of the day which was a reflection of how i was when i was a kid every day when i went to preschool was always a moment of positivity like there was there was moments when it was like Halloween or Thanksgiving and that day, no matter how small it was or how uh how insignificant I guess it was for my mother and father, it was big to me. Going to school and like wearing like uh uh wearing the you know, going to school and wearing the um what is it, those hats, those uh pilgrim hats and stuff like that. And like sitting and eating turkey and like delicious pumpkin pie simple moments it just felt like it was just so big to me and halloween days as small as they were as poor as i was and as little decorations i had in my home just to have the plastic vampire teeth was like a big old huge leap 
forward for me in my in my childhood and what i want to try to do with movies is try to like make those moments big and make those moments more powerful and greater than any action film or any drama film about arguments or problems simple things that we take for granted the simplification of living peacefully day by day we take for granted living peacefully you know we want energy we want commotion but as a child the smallest forms of commotion the smallest forms of activity was big enough but as we get older we become selfish and we want more bigger things to occur but we have to go back to a simple mindedness of being a child to enjoy the simple things of life and be gratified and the movie pushes us back to a simple level to understand that we don't have to have more money and have bigger things we just have to have peace in our hearts and to just hold you know your um ghostbusters 90s toy and just say hey this is the biggest thing in my life which it was in my life or holding you know a small bag of candy and holding in, in your one other hand um plastic vampire teeth and it's like wow this is like the most dynamic thing in my life that is where we have to go back to as simple as it sounds, that's what we have to do. And this movie is nothing but positivity. And it, it, it just follows people every day, enjoying each other's company. That's basically the story. People enjoying each other's company with their kids. Not talking about nothing. Just one day where like, you know, I'm not getting angry, but I'm just getting uh, uh, um, excited. It's just one day where it's just, they're just doing activities. The only thing they talk about is how good their daughter is doing in finger painting. The only thing they talk about is... Um, where they're gonna go for the next location, you know, to go uh, have a birthday party, and it's all in one day. And then they all, and, and even the moments when they go and wash their hands in, in the in, in, in the pot in the in the kitchen, that's another scene, a big action scene right there. But of positivity, though, you see, like every moment is big in the film, small things. And the movie is titled One Good Day, and the movie ends where all the family members are together and they're up on a on a hill and the sun rises but what I want to do is I want to use a technology that pierces through the the projection screen and you feel the sun rays as the sun rises and it hits the audience and the people and the family members are holding hands and they're sitting there and that's the end of the film all of that nothingness accumulates to something because it's simple and it's small and it's beautiful and, and, and at the end of the film, before the, a few minutes before the credits roll, there's a moment where the camera follows and looks at nature, looks at the details of the twigs and the plants, and looks at the floor and the dirt, and looks at the simple things of rocks, day-to-day -day things that we find simple and boring. It looks at it, but it doesn't just look at it. It doesn't just capture the image. It feels it. And it not only does it feel feel just looking at the objects but it feels an aura of completion it gives the audience a feeling of completion in their lives it gives it, it gives a, a, a completion in their lives it gives it gives a perpetuation of 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 greatness of love even though it's just trees and twigs you know the camera will follow a, a driplet a, a water dew falling from a from a leaf and falling down and hitting other parts of plants and the music, there'll be an orchestra music, it'll be very, very peaceful, and the film will just end with just looking at a flower, or the people standing on a hill in the sun. No conflicts. That's the climax of the film. And that's what I want to do, is make a film that has no climax or no negativity, just everyday things we can magnify and make the audience feel as though they're a part of something that is dynamic, but small and dynamic. A new way of feeling completed, you know, to make the audience feel like they're connected and they have a completion in their lives. And the film is called, is titled, One Good Day. And that's all the film is about. Thank you very much, Rich Cispit is, and that's just my idea of reintroducing a new way of positive filmmaking. Thank you.